Hello, how are you guys doing? I have no idea what this game is. Uh, to be clear, here is how I came across this game. I've known about it for a while. It's kind of one of those games that you hear about. It's sort of um, a less popular Undertale, I guess. Like, it's just, it's there. You know of it, you know? Um, I'm playing version 3, if anyone cares or if that matters. So I did a tweet the other day while I was playing Dong Rampa. I was like, hey, are there any games you guys want to see me play? And multiple people said off. Amongst other games, I think um, actually a game called One Shot got more people saying like, I want to see that instead. But, um, off is off so free. So I figure, you know what? Eh, let's start with that one. Then we'll move on to One Shot and... Uh, a couple other games that are on that list, uh, Hollow Knight, Jet Set Radio, Smile For Me, uh, 999, I already promised on doing, Outer Worlds, Return to Oprah Din. I, I think I'm just playing games from Tumblr's recommended list, but, hey, um, if you have other recommendations, then hit me up, um... Am I going to beat off on stream? I'm going to try and beat off. I probably can't beat off this stream, but tell you what. If you guys stick around for the next one, like if this is popular enough that I can do a second one, maybe I can beat off next time. You know? I don't want to promise that I can beat off right now. I could probably beat off um, once I get better at it, once I get a little bit further into it. Listen, as long as you guys are willing to be here and watch me uh, do this, I'll beat off on stream. Otherwise, I'll probably just beat off off stream by myself. Uh, you know, probably when Tilda's at work uh, and, and, you know, I'm just by myself hanging out, doing nothing else. Thinking about, like, I could play video games or I could, could beat off right now. Anyway, uh, let's start off. Welcome, Mini Moose. Translation team would like to deduct, uh, dedicate this third and final version of the English only translation. I didn't get it. The joke is run it, of course. I, okay. Um, caution is possible that certain scenes in this game move, prove to be shocking to an unaware public, or maybe not. Soundtrack and sound effects of Off created by alias Conrad Coldwood are an important part of this game. It would be a shame to play without them. I, I would assume that they're on, right? Into your name. Sure. I don't know what this is aside from, like, the guy I used in the tweet. And then there's that baseball bat guy. Let's go with Rev. So, like, are there speedruns of this game? Like, how fast can you beat off? Your name is Rev, correct? Yes. Uh, are you a boy, girl, or I'd rather not say? I, I am a boy. Um, have I played Space Funeral? Uh, no. I don't even know what that is. Alright. Welcome, Rev. You've been assigned to being called the batter the batter is on a mission be sure that it is accomplished uh we'll let you both out in zone zero good luck i'm gonna drink a little bit of my tea here be aware there's a lot of reading Pretty sure the world record be for beating off is an hour. I feel like I've been able to beat off faster than... I mean, I've never played this game before. Uh, for more information, find the one called The Judge. How many...
I mean, sometimes it takes an hour, but you know, move your body. Uh, to move your body, use the arrow keys on the keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or inner key. Uh, pop, pop, pop. Space. There's nothing to interact with here. Bulbanir, thank you uh, for the 41 months of support. And um, uh, Top Hound Door is chat allowing you to beat off. I think they're going to let me. I feel like I played a game very similar to this that wasn't off. Since there cannot be any living beings in Zone Zero, hence I deduce that you are a pure figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge. I am aching to know your name, dear illusionary interlooker. Interlooker? Interloc. Uh, Morbid Safety, thank you for the sub. And Slalik, thank you for the sub. Why did they change the green of your mod sword? Yeah, no, it's a, it's an awful color green now. I'm the batter. I've been entrusted with a sacred mission. It is a pleasure, although it's not the body I was addressing, but the soul that it harbors. What is your name, controller? His name is Rev. He can't talk to us. However, he can see and read, see and hear everything. Even though you two are but an imaginary specter in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Rev. You're gonna have to go and beat off. I understand. You know what? Like, if I saw this game, it looks pretty good so far. I would probably go and play it and beat it off stream as well. Uh, you don't want any spoilers. Many people are in need of my services. You know, everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see, but what sort of service animal could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I'm on a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There's no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area. If not, it is not that it, if it is any help to you. Thanks. Okay, so tutorial area. By the way, if you haven't seen me before, I'm profoundly dyslexic. This will cause problems. Lock ticket has been found. I don't know if there's like, you know, don't do that. Is it possible to get around this obstacle? Okay, I cannot get that other thing. Um, I don't know as if this is like a uh, Undertale thing where I can fuck this up and by stealing stuff I can cause problems. Or if I kill people, uh, I'm a bad boy for it and I'll go to hell. I don't know. I'm, I'm just fucking stupid. I'm just letting you guys know. Um... I prefer to play this game blind, if at all possible. I prefer to play most games blind, if at all possible. Also, is the screen region okay? It looks okay at my end, but uh, does it have any weird, like, white bits around the edge? Doesn't look like it does. Allow me to inform you th uh, that I find you quite tangible for a phasmagorial being. Screen region's fine. Thank you. Audio levels, all that jazz. Might you, in fact, be a person of flesh and blood? I think so. Then I was mistaken in the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my fantasical phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given encountered in this place. All's good. All right. I had initially concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land, and it was all too obvious that I was led astray. However... There exists other zones and other territories hostile individuals might attack you most violently. Your sacred mission will likely lead you to these lands. Would you like me to acquaint you with the art of violent confrontation? Yes. Just just in case. In this battle screen, you can observe... Uh, as you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, will be uh, okay on the left. Attack or auto-attack allows you to engage in a... Alright. I'm just gonna, like, skip through this because I, I, I don't think I really need to read all of this. Um, choose attack, uh, choose batter. Alright, so... Alright, so... Excellent. Dear sportive companion, know that 
both the level of the batter and his opponent determines the impacts of your assaults. It is possible for your adversaries to slyly avoid offensive moves you will exchange. Is this a weird translation thing, or does he just talk like a weirdo? It's hard to tell. Um, Alright. Da, da, da. If there's anything special I need to know about this, let me know. But I think it's just um, it's just one of those games where it's like an RPG maker game. He's just a weirdo. Okay. Let's see. We will open up self in the right. You can choose attack. Uh huh. Permits you to use one of your special talents. Objects allows you. Okay, cool. Um. So, attack, spells, inventory. Flea allows you to run. Alright, so you want me to do... Okay, but I don't really need to. Do you want me to... Okay, so you want me to use the luck ticket on you? I'd rather not. I don't know. Uh, enough to tear one's hair out. Objects and then heal self. So... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Thought I was going to try and heal them, but that's fine. Alright, nonetheless, um... Once your CP are consumed, you'll possible, uh... To carry out heavy assaults. You happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent. Before recovering some CP, your victory will be uncertain. Uh, choose competence and choose wide angle to allow you to. Well, you didn't actually give me a chance to do that yet. Oh, I think I'm like off beat. And so it's mad at me. All right. So just lets you know what you're. All right. Cool. Wide angle knows the analysis. Okay. That's actually. Uh, it allows. Uh, may accidentally analyze adversaries. Uh, you have. Already long, knocked down for a long time. The confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team are... Okay, cool. Basic, basic stuff. Okay. White angle equals scan. Yeah, exactly. For now, you're ready to be disposed of all impure obstacles that dare appear in your luminous mission's way. You're supposed to... Uh, well, supposing your intelligence is at the same level of your undeniable... Capability of dealing the bat blows to an incident cat may or may not uh, your training has ended yet Let me ask you the following if you still want me as your guide. All right Oh fuck I saw the solution downstairs, but I wasn't paying attention It was uh four four three something To pass through, you'll need to use your cerebral organ uh, correctly, you know. Objects in some way or another, symbols on the wall. Alright, cool. I'm going to go back downstairs and check on that. And I'm actually going to take a picture with my phone because I'm not going to deal with that. Alright. I don't know what this means. We'll figure it out in a minute. Has something to do with that. All right. All right. Now we got four, four, eight. All right. Can I interact with you? Space. Okay. Quite peculiar. All right. I'm going to fuck up these first few puzzles until I understand what the puzzle is. Okay. Can I interact with you? Did I finish dogging the rope? No, I did not. And we'll still be going back to it. I just... Okay, that was the wrong answer. I just wanted to see if I can interact with anything. Okay, you could stop. That's wrong. Okay, so how about 1-3? Can I do that? Can I get in between? Oh, that's just the music. I'm like, did I do something? Okay, that does something. Alright, so what does that mean? One. 
All right, let's try one, two, three, four. Oh, fuck. All right, one, two. Surely it's not one, two, three, four. Three, four. Okay, it is. Anyway, so let me go downstairs and let's try this, this new fangled technology on... Can't... Okay. I thought there was something more clever going on here. It was just one, two, three, four. Which is, um, all right. This is the tutorial, fair enough. Good to know. All right. So this, this code probably has nothing to do with anything. This is Tutorial Island after all, all right. Now this one's a little bit different. It's not in sequential order. So how about one and two? Why is that one different? Two again? All right, is this three? No, that's okay. One, two. Now, is that the second row is that? Okay. It starts like this, I think. Let's get a jiggly boy going. All right, so that's one, two, three. There's no four. Okay. We're gonna have dumb time here for a minute. We gotta get the jiggles going. All right, so I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know why that one's working. All right, so if it's one, two. Nah. No, I actually don't know why that is. No, it's not you. Okay, cool. We're just gonna be playing Simon Says until I figure this out. We gotta have the this cubes grooving. I assume that top, that second one I do needs to be like translucent, but it's not. And I don't know why. But you don't need to give me the password. Don't don't tell me the codes. It's fine. Oh, that's just what it says on the wall. Yeah. Uh, one, two. I get that. I don't get why this is six. And this is two. Okay. I think the only block I haven't tried is this one. Okay. I've tried... Stop galaxy braining it. I'm I'm doing the opposite of galaxy braining. I'm like brute forcing it. It's only like so many possibilities. And it if it goes one, two, three. Wait. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three. It's chat going clapping and saying, You did it, congrats, and poggers. Normally, normally when I solve a puzzle, I'm just like, yeah, I feel great about myself. Everyone's cheering me on. I'm so smart. But, um... Not so much right now, I'll be honest. Finally, after all that effort, a long-awaited reward makes its entrance to the scene. Okay, so what did these do, One. Okay, wait, hold up. Maybe this is what that thing is that I got downstairs. So that would be four, four. So four, four. Aha! Aha! I have a smart and I'm looking at my, oh fuck, wait, what? Okay, eight. Now on a, it's not a keypad. It's six, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight and then two and then eight again and then it's not like a keypad, it's like inverted. And then C, which I guess is this one. Cool, I did it. I did it. It's a tutorial island, I don't need to be smart just yet. 
Here we have an accessory that will prove especially useful in your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and supportive friend. It is a cube floating in the air, which you probably noted. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate from its ilk by the contrast of clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying any sensible course of plastic arts. Do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its criticizable appearance, the red cube is undeniable of use. Go back for the chest. Nope, too late. Aside from restoring or entirely uh, of your health, competence bonus is also capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. Nothingness is a place of transition outside of space itself where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try for yourself in order to discover the locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and fly towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry yourself. I too travel between different zones of the world. Perhaps uh, we will come to meet again. And by and by, take this. The This item of curious name will be the key that shall permit you to enter zone one. I've clarified that you can at any moment. Consult your inventory and write... Okay, can you move? No, but I wanna. All right. All right, can you move now? No, I, I noticed it. I guess I wanna go to the knockingness. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, this kind of reminds me of like Yumi Nikki. World map? All right, well, it makes some sort of logical sense to go one, two, three, four, but what is the room? All right, you need the adequate Zodiac card. Enter zone one, sure. Yeah, definitely some Yumi Nikki to my, um, I like Yumi Nikki. I played it recently, I'm pretty sure. I played it right before Yumi Nikki 2 came out and disappointed me. I actually returned that game, which was the only game that ever streamed made money from and returned i ethically i don't think that's okay to do but holy fuck fuck you for making that game it's just bad health points and competence points okay save sure Trainway. So I, yeah, I remember this dude from some game. I, you know what? I bet that game that I played before was like a, um, a fan game of off. I was saying Yumi Nikki 2 Dream Diary. Yes. I mean, Dream Diary, not, uh, Yumi 2 Icky. Sorry. Sorry. That was a completely different hot take that everyone was going to be mad at me for. No. Yumi Nikki 2, I think I haven't played, but. Yumi Nikki Dream Diary is a garbage fire. Tramway number one is very useful means of transport to get to the different areas of zone one. Welcome home. Please select your destination. Okay, does this change anything? No. Was the are the RPG suits? Yes, that sounds right. Trainway number two isn't uh, been coming for a long time. All right. Wait a minute. N e i m a d. No, that's still not a word. All right. A visitor. I, um, welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you the inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Perhaps a mammon of belief? Damien is a name, sure. But I just, I thought that it would be something cool backwards for some reason. Unless... 
good luck on your term paper. Um, yeah, something like that. Who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Rev. I don't know him. He must be a member of a superior personnel. In any case, that's good. That means our requests have been approved. Come, I'm going to explain your tasks. It's probably because the E was written backwards, sure. You see, here in the smoke mines of Damien, in the south of zone number one, Here, we send laborers into the deep tunnels to unearth metal from around, freeing trapped smoke from the depths. Sure. Using various tools, we put some sort of... We put some of it into bottles, which the queen sends to other zones. Mavis has come. By the way, um... I feel like I got more done on the, um... The Town of Nowhere, the game that I made, than I thought. Um, I think... I think I, I am okay to... Well, okay, let me get through Sunday. Then I might say um, that we'll do it soon. So start... You might want to start thinking about saving it soon. Um, and you might... You know, need that. Dev and chat. Dev and chat indeed. Uh, using various tools, we put some of it into bottles and queens sent to other zones. Was well, the girl's name spelled crystal with a C or crystal with a K? Crystal with a C. Devon stream. <laughs> rest of the free flow... Uh, rest of it flows... Free forms into the air and our lungs inhale and exhale and so we can live. What is the town to nowhere? I will be posting the after hours as soon as possible. But um I made I made a video game. Um it's an essential element, the first among our four elements. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. So here we are. And so, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Oh yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines. They are getting more and more aggressive. But uh, it would be good if you wouldn't go there. Because the regulations forbid access to the smoke mines for visitors. So uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that never nobody ever goes to. The miners went in there some time ago, and he saw something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So I thought maybe it's the leader of the Spectres. So that's where we are. If you accept, you'll go into the annex mine and kill the leader of the Spectres. Then the Spectres will disappear and we can work properly again. Uh, there we go. Are we, uh, do we have any questions? No. Great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, this this way. All right. It says this is a horror game. Well, well, what do we have here? Is it not Rev and his charming jumping jack, the batter? Might you be the Spectre's leader? No, certainly not. I'm just passing through. Uh, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from the pale metallic place. I, however, I believe I know where you just take. I know where the one you take for ectoplasm can be found. To tell the truth, I'm perplexed. I think it's one of those uh, spherical, particular, peculiar things called spherical add-on. Uh, they're very tried, well tried to appropriate it, but the operation has systematically failed. Yeah, according to Twitch, so Twitch has tags that it, it um... It says this is an English RPG puzzle horror game. I mean, the cat is kind of creepy looking. But the operation has systematically failed. I was thinking maybe you, the one who is not a physical matter, will perhaps succeed in binding the spiritual entity to yours. God, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Add-on Alpha has joined you. Exceptionally intriguing phenomenon. I admit that I remain perpetually perplexed by this unexpected physical reaction. 
Fair enough. Since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best possible use of it. Got it. The leader of the Spectres isn't here. Apologies, but I fear I have to respond to the negative. Okay, he's just like this. The other guy talked normally. Psychological horror. Okay. It's not jump scare brand horror. No, you can have multiple different... This translation seems to be overly verbose. Um, this is version 3 again. I don't know if that matters. Um, this add-on aside, I have not crossed paths with a single moving soul in this place. Okay, so... What did that do? Okay, Alpha is a spirit as well, so I can have him fight. I wonder if he can die, and if that's important. I'm going where I want. Soon I might be prompt promoted. I'll be able to do surveillance in Alma. I'm anxious for that to happen. Sure, I'm going to rob you now. Excuse me. Add-ons are party members. Is this a good translation of it? Like, is translation 3 the best one? Normally... So have you killed the uh, leader of the Spectres? No, it wasn't there. Oh, really? Bugger. Crap. Well, I, uh... I believe that I'll have to let you enter the main gorges then. But, um, the regulations are against it. I suppose this is a very special case as stated in paragraph 5, so, um... Good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. It's a pretty good translation. Okay, this is a good translation. It's just really weird. Okay, that's fine. I want... I want this game to be what it's supposed to be. And if this game is just fucking weirdly translated, then that's fine. Uh, our phantoms down there, they keep us from working properly. But this is my break time anyway. What are you doing here? Are you part of the mine inspection personnel? Sure. You come to eliminate all the specters. That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors. Since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms in all the tunnels. Be careful, sir. Besides, who let you in here? Normally, regulations prevent external visitors. Um, I wouldn't expect to see another episode of the th town from nowhere until it gets put up on after hours and people could catch up because at least the very first episode, I'd like to be able to have people catch up and know what's going on. A stick tree. Thank you for the 41 months of support. Show yourself corrupted children. I'm the voice of forgiveness that eliminate your ill fated forms. Prepare yourselves to receive my judgment. Okay. I like the music. You look special. Wait, maybe I should use my abilities. All right. Nope, don't have any. Okay. There seems to be no reason not to just directly attack. Aside from the fact that Alpha seems to be weak. Everyone seems to be a bit low on health. Okay. Adversary is purified. 400 experience points gained, 80 credits. Lucky ticket, lucky ticket, lucky ticket, lucky ticket. This add on is uh, fighting by my side. That's useful. Let's purify the other galleries. Let's take. Um, oh, I can. Okay, so the red ones allow you to change level, but the yellow ones allow you to um, save and do all the normal stuff. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to do left-hand method. So I'm just going to stay on the left-hand side of... The 
revives a character. Okay, so people can be revived once they're dead. Okay. Oh, so I just heal back up to full after every fight. So, those items are literally just that way you don't lose your guy in the fight. It reminds me of, um... Caravan Palace, in a way. Ghoul, Dusty Breast, uh, Wingness Against Metal. Okay. The box is healed. Oh, right, the box, oh, box healed me. Electro Swing. Right, exactly. I don't know why it's called January. All right. I'm working. I'm being productive. Alright. Staying along the left side. This will bring me in loops. That's the point. Have I played Lisa? Uh, I have not. It's showed up on that list a couple of times as well. You know what? Why don't I put that on the list as well? Because that one showed up a few times. Not saying I'll necessarily play it, but I'll at least look at it. I think I might wait until an enemy doesn't die within two hits. If I can kill something in like two hits, then I don't really need to know what it does beyond that. Like if it just dies instantaneously, then who gives a shit what it has as abilities? Like it's dead. It doesn't attack me anymore. All right. So that didn't achieve much. Yeah, I've got a lot of good list of uh, good stream games. Now, it doesn't mean that I'll play all of them, but I kind of figure I should have, like, I want to have a good puzzle game rolling, and then I want to have, like, a short game going. The Town of Nowhere, a long game, and that should be a pretty good lineup. So, a short game. So, I've got this website called um, How Long to Beat, right? And how long to beat gives you, like, generally speaking, like, if you were just playing casually, how long it would take, and also how long to play it if you were playing, like, to do 100% something, right? So, um, it gives me, like, estimates on how long it would take to beat this game, for example. So, it says five hours to beat this game. And then Homestuck, of course. And I figure that combination means that I'll have enough stuff to stream... To be pretty, like, okay on streams for a while. Okay, that's locked. Alright. What? Did you come from the smoke mines? Yes. But it's full of specters in there, yes. Are you a specter? No. And who are you? Have you been sent by the queen? Or by D-Dan? But, 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 do you still know how to fate the specters? Could you destroy them? Yes. Oh, that would be great. There are specters in the large cow sheds. Cow sheds? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Rev giving us the full 2013 experience Humstuck off in Dognarampa. Yeah. <laughs> so, a short game is going to be a game that, um, I want to say that how long to beat determines to be under like seven hours. That sounds about right. Seven to eight hours. So that means that like Outer Worlds is expected to be like a 12 hour game. This is expected to be a five hour game. Jet Set Radio is a seven hour game. You're here at the metal farmsteads of Pintil in the East Zone. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic rocks contained within the cadavers. Sure. Just letting a lot of this roll. Like, yeah, sure, there's metal in cows. There's people who mine smoke. Why not? All the metals are of poor quality or discarded, forming ground we walk on. The rest is purified and processed to create objects. I 
As a part of this, it's is also to put a part of it is also put into crates and sent to other zones. So we they have objects and soil as well, I suppose. Cow lore. Zinc. The essential element the first among the four elements. Because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on, and they would sink and drown. And there, so... The specter's in the large cow sheds. I must purify the mines first. Yes, but the, uh, cow sheds aren't that big, and, uh... You get if you took care of them fast, because the Queen's Inspector is gonna arrive at any moment. So please, could you do the sh cow sheds first? Alright. Great, thank you. Thank you so much. The cow sheds are right over there to the right. Aren't that big of it all. You'll see they're going to be done super quickly. Um, this? Okay. So to the right, you say. Did I get my left and my right mixed up? Did he say left? Is this a cow shed? This is a cow shed on the left. This is dope fish. God, I... Fuck, what happened to dope fish? I prefer working here over the smoke mines. At least you get the benefit of outside air. Should be attached to the animals. Once you are, it's difficult to put your hands inside. Yeah, it's probably hard to fist an animal that you've gotten acquainted with. Which is weird. Oh, I do actually need to go along around. Dope fish is no longer dope. His right, not yours. The balls of heaps and the process metals are going to be sent to the other zones. They're uh, metallic. Okay. You're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up. We're expecting the Queen's Inspector at any moment. There are five specters left to be uh, left in the cow shed. Okay, cool. So it'll just let me know. Die. Now, wait a minute. Okay. I don't feel like I'm learning anything from doing that. Wait a minute, those are things too. God damn it. Okay. Four specters left. Use the onion ring. I'm using the onion ring. It's attacking things. I don't even know what you're talking about. Use the onion ring. Wait, does the onion ring have other abilities? No. Defend. It can defend. Sure, but I could just kill them. So far, not much going on with this game. Like, aesthetically, I like it. It reminds me of, like, Yumi Nikki, for sure. If you haven't played that, I recommend it. Um, combat's pretty easy. Which leads me to believe I'm doing it wrong. Like, it's gonna have a power spike, or, like, I'm an asshole for doing this. Not really sure. Um, save first base has been acquired. It could also be just early in the game. I thought you hated Yumi Nikki. I liked Yumi Nikki 1 and 2. I did not like, um, Dream Diary. I, I called it 2, but I guess that's incorrect. I think 2 was a fan game. Yumi Nikki Dream Diary was given the official blessing of the creator, but was bad. Well, using the spells don't seem to matter. Like, it just die. You're early in the game. It's not that difficult. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something as far as, like, the... the Too Icky is a fan game. Yes. Yeah, it's fine. Flow is good. Wait, maybe I was thinking of Flow. Have I not played Too Icky? 
No, I think I did. Because I remember someone explaining that Tuiki is... Because each knee... And that's the, the, the joke, essentially. The battery is actually really low on health. Maybe I, uh... Tuiki has healing is for suckers. It's one of those things that it's like, theoretically, Pokemon games have like status effects and stuff like that, but God, if I ever figured out what the fuck they do or how they work. I played Dot Flow. Silver Flesh. Okay. LCD Dream Emulator is a good. Oh, you. LCD Dim. Okay, that's a different thing entire. LSD Dream Emulator, I played to the point that I, I played 365 days worth of it. Uh, it has like a, a day system in that game. I'm, I'm coming to kick your ass. I'm going to see what happens if I push this onto there. Anything? Okay. This game has, like, a weird feel to it, and I think that's what's going to hook me in long enough for it to actually give it, like, a shot. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, and I feel like I could very easily know what's going on at this point. Uh, but I don't. Blind run, for sure. Oh, the queen is here. I, I am really quiet, you pitiful bastard. No, I, uh, yes. Has it been long since he went inside? I don't know. Of course you know nothing. I should have known. Yeah, something tells me that I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. Uh, he will need to eliminate the specters. And how does he think himself capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks himself better than you, than the queen? No, I, I don't think that. Shut it. I didn't ask for your opinion. You all think you're more intelligent than the others, but you're all the same. In any case, this is hardly important. Phantoms will erase that conceited individual. I... You... You don't think he won't? Of course not. Nobody here is capable of fighting the phantoms apart from the Queen's officers. If only you listened to me more often, you wouldn't be making fools of yourselves. But then, who who's going to destroy the phantoms? I couldn't have done it. I could have done it, but you don't deserve it. Uh, if you don't get status ups, it's double stat. And yeah, right. But like, sure, that those are things, G Max. But I just like using like, I like using like sleep, and then combining that with like confusion or paralysis, and then I poison them. That's the thing you can do with Cedra in uh, Emerald, and it's hilarious. You basically just win. Too bad for you. I'll, I'll, you'll just have to take care of your problems yourselves. No, I, p please. I'm leaving now. I don't know if I'm seeing the Queen's sprite right. It looks just like um, a man with impossibly huge teeth. I don't know as if that's what that's supposed to look like because the sprite down to the bottom doesn't look like it. Is that supposed to be Veil? Like, the fuck is that? That's not the queen. Oh. Okay, hold up. This is what I think I'm looking at. Am I doing this right? Off fan art. There you go. Is that... Is that what it is? 
that's okay. But Spike here. Yeah, no, I, I can't be asked to actually do that correctly. That's him. All right. I'm returning to Alma. At least I, at least the people there are polite. They don't constantly cut you off. But please don't. Goodbye. Get out of my sight. No, don't. No, I, I beg of you. Get the fuck out of my way right this incident. If you want to keep your position. I beg you, get the fuck out of my way. That's, um... I feel like that was a weird translation thing. Like, get the fuck out of my way, I beg you. Who is that person? You're alive? Yes. And the specters? The cow shed has been purified. That you? You must be very lucky. Who is that person? That was D-Dan. The queen's inspector. I don't feel like writing all that. But yeah, get it. D-Dan, Queen's Inspector, sure. I beg of you, fuck off. Uh, Cersei Chip, thank you for the uh, two months of support. You mean Spectre? No. The Queen wouldn't employ Spectre. He can't be one. But he's evil. I must destroy him. No, 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 don't do that. He's an envoy of the Queen. I mean, you'd better complete your work in the smoke mines, please. In any case, he's an Alma. No one could go there without proper authorization. So please, return to the smoke mines. Alright, sure. I'm just going to follow orders because um, I have a feeling that... Th Wait, hold up. Are you fisting cows over here? Scrapping scraps of metal from the cows isn't what I prefer. But if I do my job well, maybe they'll... I'll be transferred to Alma. Slice it up into pieces and eat the meat. Sure. It's half a cow. I noticed. Alright, so I could just leave? Alright, let's not do that. Where's the other half? Well, I'd imagine, like, they're working on one cow. And there's... Yeah, there's, there's another half a cow missing. Like, I'm totally fine with them having four halves of cow. It's just odd numbers. Odd numbers of cow halves is weird to me. Like, what the fuck happened to it? Okay. Is it dark over here, too? It is. Okay. Achoo! Left hand method. So, basically, you can solve any maze by either picking the left or the right side and just staying on that side until you get to the end of the maze. It will take longer than just going in a straight line. Sometimes. But, um, it is faster than randomly going. Because randomly going will lead you down the same path sometimes. Going left always will always lead you back, um... And you'll eventually get somewhere. Yeah. Switch is now off. Well, the game is called off, so maybe I need to turn things off. That would make sense. Though this game, going with, like, terms like competence and stuff like that, uh, leads me to believe that maybe... There's, like, a certain, like, weird word choiceage in here. Turn chat off. They keep saying cummies. If they want to waste their points saying cummies, that's fine. Oh, this is going to be a bitch. All right, hold up. I've got a new competence. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. This game is really verbose. This game is just going to have weird, vo like, choices. So off could mean who knows what. It could be a translation error. It could be a... Um, uh, interpretive thing. Gummies. You can waste your points however the fuck you guys want. Did I not get... Hold up. Hold the fuck up. What the fuck is this? It's... 
It's mean. Fruit gummy. There you go. See? You can do whatever you want. The name of the game makes sense. Okay. You can say the game is a little bit off. Ah, okay. The game's translation is actually pretty good. Okay. Oh. Elephant noise. The battery is sort of a paladin. That would make sense with the whole purify mission thing. Weird choice for him to be a batter. You know what I mean? Abaddon's meat has been found. Okay. Abaddon the despoiler. I got... Wait, hold up. About an hour. You know what? I think that's about average for me. That's about an hour. These characters are starting to pile up, aren't they? Pardon? What I'm saying is the average player doesn't need all these complicated and tedious dialogues. There should be more actions and fewer questions. Who are you? I'm Zachary, the traditional items merchant necessary in every video game. I often find myself in places you're going to visit before you. It's him, the one we must fuck. That's... That's concerning. The boy. Chat is going crazy now. We will fuck Zach. No, please do not. Time for the bastard. He's 85% of the fan art of this game. Yeah, no, I've seen him before. Um, no, I don't joke. I'm just saying that's what chat was saying. We gotta fuck him. That was the first reaction someone had. As soon as he appeared, people were like, I want his dick inside me. It's not enough. I'm one of those protagonists you have to listen to for hour. Uh, so why not let me see the color of your credits? <laughs> Lunch ticket. Cures poison. Okay. Well, that seems useful. Not that many. Just one. Offensive equipment. Okay, I already have those. Defensive equipment. Um, Alright. So we already have the aura of justice and the audacious symbol. So I don't really know why I would want to buy them again. We'll buy the tunic, however, and the radius epidermis. Um, okay. I I've learned a lot about chat after playing the town from nowhere. All right, I don't really know what Alpha is, but he's here too. What? How? Where did you come from? I came from the smoke mines. But how? What? But that's impossible. Not a single lamp works in there, but you can't. Faith guides my steps. Faith? My mission is to purify the mines, but it seems that the phantoms are particularly numerous. The specters? Why am I here? Oh, God. More lore. Okay. Are you guys horny for alpha as well? Is there porn art? Okay. So rule 34 of the circle. Not like if the circle turns into another form, but just like if the just the circle. Like people putting their dick into it. Have you considered playing more RPG Maker games? Also, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Depends. There's Clippy Rule 34. I feel like the Clippy Rule 34 is um, ironic. Probably just as a meme. Sure. If it exists, there's going to be porn of it. Yeah, I'm just saying, like... I guess there's a difference between, like, it exists, there's porn of it, and it exists, and there's a lot of porn of it. Like, weirdly large amounts of porn of it. Like, oh, oh, wow. What the fuck? amounts of porn of it, you know? Sort of like My Little Pony. It's like, sure, it exists. But it doesn't just exist and it doesn't just have porn of it. It's like a weird amount of porn of it. 
you know? I feel like that's another part of Rule 34 that people kind of forget, is that, like, sometimes there's, like, the one, just to make sure that that rule always stays clear, but, like, My Little Pony has a weird amount of porn related to it, you know? Like, unironic amounts of porn of it, you know? Like, rather than just to complete the requirement to make that rule exist and work. Rule 34 existential crisis when there's no porn of you. I've seen porn of myself. I didn't make it. Someone else did. Streaming is a weird fucking thing to do for a living. Let me just tell you. People are like, oh, all you gotta do is, is play video games. Sometimes you have to look at porn of yourself. My point is... Here you are at the Plastic Administrations of Shrochata in the north of Zone 1. Rev, I'm sorry. My biggest concern is they didn't give me a big dick. If you're gonna go through the trouble of drawing me, like, draw me with a bigger dick, okay? Do people kin me? Um, yes, but I challenged them to hand-to-hand -hand combat and they stopped. Like, why would you even, like, why would you even fantasize me about me having just a normal-sized dick? Like, give me a just fucking, like, anaconda coming out of my, like, crotch. Like, give me a huge-ass dick. The fuck? No one kins me anymore. I murdered them. Our work consists of fulfilling forms. Afterwards, we package them and wrap them up with a string to send them to the courier service. Here's the deal. I hate myself at times. And so if someone else was me, then I would absolutely kill them on sight. Our work consists of filling in the forms. Afterwards, we package them and wrap them up in strings sent to the courier service. There, they ship the packages in exchange. We receive parcels full of plastic. There's a lot of liquid plastic that forms in our lakes and oceans, and there's solid plastic used in ver to make various objects. It's an essential element to uh, the first among the four elements. Like, I feel like you're not kidding me correctly if you don't, like, want to challenge me to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, fucking fight me. If you think you're me, fight me. We'll see who the real one is. Because without plastic, the world would be limitless. I know your fucking weaknesses. I've been me longer than you've been me. Because without plastic, the world would be limitless. And the people would just keep walking and walking without ever stopping. But do you hunt the specters, really? Oh, yes, I'm purifying this zone. The specters, I know where they come from. They're all coming from the Postal Service. The Postal Service? That's where we take care of the sending of the packaged forms. Problem is that uh, nobody can remember the floor where it's found. What the fuck is happening? Just regular ass rev stream. Um, yeah, don't, don't kin real people. As a, like, unjokingly. Don't. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits there, Witch of Doom. Uh, I bought more bits just so I can donate for this game. Well, thank you. Um, Alright, so, to progress... So, there's parts of this that it's like, Man, I really need you to go do this thing. But it's like, I feel like I still haven't cleared out the smoke mines. Should I go back and do that? Like, is there any purpose of doing this? 
think you're all set. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, no. All right, let's try the basement. You're already in the basement. All right, cool. Good. All right, so I don't know. Uh, We'll come back to that. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. Brute force it? Maybe there's a clue and we don't have to brute force it. Just go one by one. It's not like I can play hot cold with it. I was thinking about doing that. Where it's like, you know, try one, try 500. Or try 1,000. If it's not either of those, try 500. If that's neither of those, try uh, 250. If it's, you know, not 250, you know. But you don't know whether or not it's higher or lower, so it doesn't really matter. I'm staying to the left this time. Okay, I've walked back out, so that's not right. I need to go back up. Uh, actually, if I go this way, I should be good. Oh, there we go. I feel like this game does have that, like, anti-capitalist vibe. Like, I feel like I'm doing the wrong thing by, like, doing what the corporate suits are telling me to do. Like, that's a fair... You don't really have too many games where doing what the corporate suits tell you to do is the right choice. Generally speaking, if you see corporate suits in a game, they're the bad guys. Where's my Randian games at? I guess the people who, like, want to play Randian games are still reading Atlas Shrugged and pretending like they read it because, holy fuck, that thing's a fucking... You could kill someone with that novel. It's too big. You could kill someone with the knowledge in that novel because it's bad. But, like, Bioshock... Bioshock says that that, that was a bad idea. At least the first one. I don't know about the second one. I think the second one... Uh... EVE Online is the Randian game. Okay, okay, yeah. There you go. There you go. Isn't Bioshock basically... Okay, Bioshock says here's the logical conclusion of And Rand. And it's a underwater fortress filled with, like, meth-addled psychopaths. Like, I don't feel like that... That's a compliment. You know? The second one was about altruism getting out of hand. Okay. Was that a, like... I, see, I didn't... I don't think I've ever played Bioshock all the way through. I played uh, System Shock. And that was good. Um, I played that on stream, like, way before After Hours was a thing. Like, years and years and years and years ago. Witch of Doom. Thank you for the sub. Battery's blinded. Oh. Okay, I'm pure now, so it's fine. Uh, System Shock 2, probably. Uh, the better looking of the two. The one with the monkey you could shoot just instantaneously for no reason. I don't think I played System Shock 1. I played Deus Ex 1, 2, and 3. Um, I own 2 for some fucking reason. All right, so let's let's get back to the the topic at hand. If the queen is an asshole, then it's probably in my best interest to not clear the smoke tunnels. There's a door, but it seems to be locked from the inside, okay? Or, perhaps I'm being told to progress, so maybe I shouldn't. I'm trying to figure out... How do I be punk rock? Yeah, she could have sent the ghost out. So, what, right, because she was... Her... Um, D-Dan was telling me to fuck off. Please, get out of my way! Fuck off! D-Dan. Uh, but you have to purify. It's your mission. Uh, 
I should probably heal. There's a heal point just around the corner here. Yeah, I'm streaming off, my dude. Oh, wait. This is open now. Why am I going backwards? More to purify. Not done purifying yet. Gotta go kick the asses of... Mine is haunted. No spoilers, but it's got some wild shifts. Okay. So I shouldn't try and galaxy brain this shit. You know what? That's one thing that's really nice about the town of nowhere. When someone tries, like, when someone correctly guesses something in that game, I know they guessed it. Like, they didn't look it up on some tutorial. They didn't go and play the game prior and are acting like they're guessing it now. They can't. No one's actually played that game before. So. If you want to try and do spoilers for, like, the town of nowhere, go for it. Fucking try. There's lots of items here. I'm going to take them. There's no way of galaxy braining my brain. Spoilers, chat gets uh dear boyfriend. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah, no, um Oh, Alpha is getting weak. We should probably, like, make sure that doesn't happen. It's probably bad. I feel like this is almost like Nuzlocke tier where, like, it, it dying is probably bad. Tauros orb. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. Then we're gonna go all the right paths. I like the description Twitch plays D&D &D to describe that game. It's a good way of explaining it. I mean, the very least I'm grinding. And um, I think the best way to beat off is to grind. Um, I haven't played it before, but I'm going to take that assumption, you know, just having played similar things. I think it's best to grind uh, in order to beat off. You're doing that on purpose, aren't you? No, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm just talking about this game. Sewer Sharks or Battletoads? Oh, God. Uh, I had Sewer Shark toys as a kid. I had the brown one. I did never actually watch the show, but we had the toys growing up. Same with Gargoyles. Just don't grind too hard. I mean, I guess there are certain enemies that I just want to wound, and then they'll be like, sorry, we'll stop. I'll stop. If you grind, well, I'm not trying to grind. I'm just trying to go and get these items because this room seems to be just items. Um, so I got all of the orbs. Fuck is if I know what they are. What do I have now? I went and got all of those without even really thinking about what they were. Increases the character's max CP, defense, agility, attack. Is Do we have an Aquarius yet? Okay. 
You mean to tell me there are other Vine Sauce members other than Vinny and Swedish Vinny? Yes. There's a full team of people. I feel like after 10, almost, well, it's like nine years of doing this at this point. That like, almost 10. That at some point we can like, get past that point. But still, like, you're probably jokingly saying it. But like, I had to explain that to someone the other day on one of my videos. It's like, yeah, no. There's, there's more of us. And we're all a little bit different, but you know, there's some similarity there. You can do auto to skip the fight, right? Uh, I've already forgotten how to do that. Row? What the fuck is row? Row, row, fight the power. Row is something. All right, character order. Is there a Mexican Vinny? Um, no. I think there was at one point. All right, cool. We're back here again. So I made some progress. I got some things. Um, all right. So let's try ground floor and then roof. And then maybe, because those are the two places it mentions. Like maybe ground, god damn it. I'm dumb. It's, it's really bad, guys. I'm really fucking stupid. Ground floor. Form 3822, stamp 34001. Okay. These are just numbers. Oh god, this is going to be a really hard puzzle, isn't it? It's like, what is the difference between these numbers? Like, what is the constant? Like, that's going to be a math thing, isn't it? You're going to force me to do a math, aren't you? You fucking bastard. Oh, I don't want you to, though. Wait a minute. Was your... 2584. Okay, it's, that stayed the same. Okay, this, this entire room is 2584 stamp. Alright. Time to get out of sticky note. It's not quite as complicated as it appears. Okay, good. So I'd hate to, for it to be as complicated as I want it to be. All right, pr be prepared to write stuff down. I'm doing it right now. All right. We're gonna write down a column of forms and stamps. Okay. Stamps. Forms. Oh, I did it reverse. And that's actually going to fuck with me if I don't switch those numbers. You know what? Why don't we take a quick uh, BRB and I'll go and write this down. Um, and go to the bathroom and stuff. Sound good? I think that sounds like a good start. Just give... Why don't we just keep this music on? It's a bop. BRB. Uh, actually, I don't know how to do BRBs on the new studio dashboard. What the fuck? Where's the button? Quick actions. Uh, I'd like to run an ad so I can go pee. Manage pull? Sure. Start a return? A rerun. Okay. Toggle sub, manage bounties, run a, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, all right, cool, I'll be right back, 
two minutes. We should be almost back. One. We should be back. Are we back? Let's hope so. Screen region for this game, it's like it doesn't want a window, but it doesn't or it doesn't want to be game capture. It doesn't mind window capture. Anyway, I wrote that down. ASMR numbers. Wait a minute. How the fuck did I get in here? Oh, right. I could go around them like this. Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, so this one. Four, two, nine. Six, two, six. One, two, nine, seven, four. Okay. Two, zero, three, four, three. Seven, two, six, two. I've asked a uh, question to many streamer and personal friends a year from now, uh, from years from now, but to no avail, I hope you have the answer. The duo of the geosurgical snail. God, I have no idea what you mean. Check the roof first. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, um, if I'll be honest with you. One, six, eight, nine, one. I'm gonna finish this room and then I'll go check the roof. And then I'll maybe have context for what any of this means. You already have the answer to the puzzle. All right, cool. One, one, oh, oh. With that, I'll just write down this one and then go back up to the uh, top. All right, cool. All right, take lifts. Roof. All right, hey. By Jove, you've done it again. You are decidedly everywhere. You could believe me that you were following me, yet your footsteps have not deceived you, for you are here in a place that could certainly use sacred blows from your holy bat. Perhaps you're already aware of this, but it happens to be the floor housing the administrator of postive service is haunted by ectoplasms. It would be most judicious to find the story where all of these intangible monsters arise from post haste in order to slay them. But could it be that this task is too 
Druis for your narrow mind, in which case I might be able to provide you with advice. Uh, no thanks. Okay, cool. Okay, actually, no, I would like help. Okay, that was a mistake then. All right, I guess I'm figuring this puzzle out myself then. Okay, you know what? All right. So a floor number has to be one, two, three, four, five. So it can't be the stamp, but it, or it can't be the form, but it could be the stamp. So we're gonna try that. Cool, I'm smart. It's the one where all of them were the same. No one? I'm the batter, where are the phantoms? I'm very afraid, help me. Oh, okay, that's interesting of you. It didn't have to be like this. Um, no weaknesses or resistance, okay. Where was that? About low health? All right, well, that was easy. Done. You okay now? Maybe... Maybe it's his suit that is taking control of his brain. Strange. An employee of zone one in poor health. You could say that. Something strange is written on this form. First version, they lie six feet under, surrounded by hot metal and plastic and liquid plastic. Okay. So the smoke and the, uh, okay, sure. Those are basically the materials that have been referenced so far, plastic and metal. Very industrial, very corporate. Are those goddamn... Oh, right, I can do auto battle right from the get... That's where it is. Some possums. Time for possums. You ever see like an actual possum, like a real life in-person possum before? I did. Just if you were wanting some good news in your life. Er All right. Where's my notepad? All right. Six feet under. Uh, second version. So it's probably the number. Second version, eight, have long beards. Um, beards, second. Yeah, the uh, if you want um, my highest channel, it's Rev Scarecrow uh, highlights. If you want uh, any full stream that you may have missed, it's full, uh, Rev Scarecrow After Hours. I think I just need the numbers. I don't know how you would be able to use the rest of that information, but. I would assume this is gonna bring me to another floor. Um, so let's take this staircase here. Um, all right. Third version, a soul tree, one insect, a partridge in a pear tree. Cool. 
you got the highlight channel, you got after hours, and you got my art channel. So I've got three channels. Um, here, hold on. Once it loops back around on BRB, I'll, I'll pop it back up. Um, that's the fonts. You guys can't see it, but things scroll by. Well, even while you do not see them, they exist. There's my art channel. Just waiting for them to scroll by. Uh, there'll be a new video on um, Sunday. The new videos on the highlight channel Saturday and Wednesday is going to be in the new schedule. New videos on the art channel every other Sunday and new videos every day on um, after hours. I need to probably write this down somewhere because I know it just because I've done it for so long. But all right. Yeah. See, miss after hours. That one is if you miss a stream. Fourth version four um, elements. And then this is here. Yeah, there you go. That's the full list of things that you should follow. Just take a screenshot and do that. You're already on twitch.tv if you're watching this live. Or you're on the full stream channel. Or you're some, I, I don't know, some other dimensional being. How am I doing today? I'm doing good. All right. I feel like I missed a floor somehow. You're just astral projecting my stream at this point. Last version. Two secret zones. I'm going to put last. So the problem with last is I don't know how many there's supposed to be. Um, or the stream got pirated to Pornhub. Sure. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and then there's. Oh, that that's all of them. Maybe. But there's another note over there. That's concerning. I keep forgetting to do. Uh, Auto attack. Doesn't Vinny have an exclusive Pornhub highlight video? He does. I thought about doing something similar, but just like, I don't know. My mom watches Arcade, um, which is adorable of her. Um, but she, she says she doesn't like my language on the Highlights channel. Um, that being said, um, I feel like I feel like I would have a hard time explaining myself to my mother um, if I had a video on Pornhub. Like, she would accept it because she accepts me as who I am. But, you know. Um, cute story from when I was away on vacation. Um... She was uh, looking out after the cats for us, you know, um, hanging out, like coming over to the house and, you know, checking on them. But while she was like letting them run around and like playing fetch and stuff, um, uh, she turned on whatever arcade video I uh, uploaded while I was gone. Um, I forget which one that was. That was the one where the painting was of Abby. I don't remember what I talked about. Anyway. Um, Five like the fingers on a hand. Five fingers in his ass. Um, anyway, she turned on the arcade thing, and Abby started freaking out, being like, "Where, where the fuck? Where is, where is he? Where's my dad?" It was really cute. 
she, she know. I mean, like, listen, she has watched those videos. It's not like she hasn't. My point is that just like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I could post this on Pornhub and call it beating off while grinding. All right. Access to the secret elevator is forbidden. Did I say secret? I must pass. Uh, no, I think that's impossible unless you have the uh, code. All right, so six feet under, eight beards, one insect, four elements, five fingers, two something else. Code is exactly correct. How? You must not pass. I don't want to die. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to Alma. It will be nice. Alma is heaven now. Okay. Floor, who knows? Director's office. I feel like I'm making remarkably good time in this game. When the estimate says that this game is five hours long, pitiful bastards disper disappear this instant. You're, this is my zone. You must not be here. I guess there's three other zones, so there's no way I'm done with this game yet. You! It's you, the source of all my troubles. The ectoplasmic lord who has sent his fucking sights on my beloved zone. What do you want? Have you decided to be such a- Why have you decided to be such a pain in my ass? I've just dedicated my whole life to this place. You have no right to corrupt it with your pathetic phantoms. Be gone, fuck! You are mistaken. I am not a phantom. I am a purifier. I've come to cleanse this world of ectoplasmic beings. How dare you respond? How dare you think I will just swallow these insults? Listen well, this is simple. Get out of here and take your goddamn specters with you or I am going to kill you. I hope for your sake that I've made myself clear. If I see you again, you're dead. The tramway will now stop in Alma. Okay. Well, that cutscene happened, so now we're going to save just so we don't have to do it again. I feel like I didn't, um... So what happens if you go to room like, I don't know, 10? What's here? Okay. It's beating off by grinding, not beating off while grinding. Um, yeah, that's true. Like, that's true. Do 420 69. You know what? I can't not now that you've mentioned it. So 420. Nice. Oh. It's disappointing though. So what was the correct answer again? It was eight, five. How could I get to the, no, it was, it was on floor one, right? I'm trying to remember how I got to the floor where there was, uh, oh, is it, can I just leave? Oh, I didn't even know I could just leave. I need to get to that, back to that tram station. I kind of forgot it, where it was there. Well, I mean, you know what? Fuck it. It's right here now. Queen's General has been, uh, has an office here where the real house is in Alma. Okay. Uh, Alma, I think is where I want to go. I went to the roof. Yeah.
I'm not allowed to let anyone pass unless they answer some questions. Two of them come from Jerusalem and the third from Vienna. The Holy Trinity is made out of uh, roses. Our lady wears jersey number four is a holy number. How many threes are there in June? Uh, Kevin and Jonas. One or more of your answers were false. Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured. All right, well, time to leave. You could speed run this game by just knowing the answer to that, I take it. Let's go to the first one. You need a walkthrough. It's not translated. I think we can have faith. Read the wall. The wall? Oh, hey. There's things here. Take a closer look? Yes. Oh. Oh. The March of Winds. Sunday. Okay. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, 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 fucking shot. Um. Uh, Cyril of Jerusalem. Uh. Alexander of Jerusalem. Orta. I'm trying to remember what things I needed to know of this. Okay, June. Roses. Okay, I got that right. Um, Holy Trinity, Sunday, Charles. Um, and then how many threes are there in June was another one. Uh, sixth Sunday of our Lady of Lore. Wait. Lord Dills. Okay. I need to write down probably the question. So I'm going to get this wrong again. But, um... June. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 2. Yeah, I almost didn't count the massive fucking red one. Alright. Alright, we're gonna get this wrong, but I need to just need to... Alright, two of them come from Jerusalem, and... Um... Third one from... Orta? Holy Trinity is made out of roses. Uh, Lady wears jersey number... Lady... Uh, well, I tried four last time. We'll try six. How many threes are there in June? 22. Um, Alex. Okay. The jersey number of our lady. Okay. Our lady of lords... 1858. 11, maybe? Let's go with 11. Um, Orta. Roses. Okay, that's not an option, so let's try 8. How many threes are there in June? 22. Alex. Okay, so the first one was wrong. Uh, Holy Trinity is made out of How many threes are there in June? 22.
Thank you for the, uh... Those aren't bits, Ego. You just... Last one's wrong. Okay. Orta. Roses. Six. Um, how many? 22. Jonas? Okay, that didn't feel right, but sure, let's go with it. All your answers are correct, but there's one more question. If you turn the month March upside down, what two-digit number can you read? D's nuts. 11? All right, March. Eighty-one. All right. Seven. God damn it. Suck my entire cock. No, not zero. Sorry. I was just trying to get you to shut up. Now... Hold on a goddamn minute. Seven. Eighty-seven? Thank God I don't have to do that twice. That's correct. Correct. Can you not? Every single time I know a thing, can you not just go after me? So there's definitely some Christian mythology thing going on. Like, I wasn't sure if it was just like holy in the way that like sometimes video games just have holy people and they deserve a, a god or whatever. Um, but it's nondescript. It's not God as in like Christian God. But this one is just God. My nails are all dirty. All right, bye then. You, you, uh, I'm here to see D-Dan. D-Dan? Yes, of course. Uh, here at the Meat Foundations of Alma in the center of Zone 1. Here the meat flows freely, endlessly filling with the immense metal pools which we find ourselves. Right. Gotcha. The meat flows freely. This is necessary to know while you beat off. That and grinding. You need to grind. You need to be where the meat flows. And then you, that's how you beat off. Our work consists of pouring this meat into bottles before the fountains overflow. Oddly, we Americans in a country... I don't know. I've never been out of the country. I don't know what other countries like. Um, as far as, like, what what, what the fuck do y'all do? Like, I mean, I'm also from the Bible Belt, where things are super fucking Christian. Uh, meat is then sent to everyone. To everyone living in Zone 1 and the others. Presumably the one... Uh, when I speak of other countries, I mean, like... Not America. I was gonna say something else, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just have a good time and beat off. Thank you for the 50 bits there, Ego. Um, it, is it is essential element. The first among these four elements, right? Meat and metal. Because without meat... People would have nothing to eat, and they would devour each other. All right. Master D-Dan has an office in the center of the fountains, but no one's ever found it. Generally speaking, Master D-Dan seems only to appear when necessary. Well, uh, there. Who are you again? I've come to liberate this world of malignants. Oh, really? Well, then. Can you liberate me? Sure. I'll auto-attack you until you die. All of them are the first element. I see.
Maybe things will be better now. Maybe things are good now. That's a good song. Like, if you guys haven't listened to that, uh, Fangs, maybe things are good now. It's like, not like, it doesn't go the hardest ever, but like, it's just like, yeah, you know what? Like, that's a nice song. I heard it first in concert. I didn't even have any idea who the fuck Fangs was. I went to a uh, Mystery Skulls concert and um, he came on as like the pre-performance and I was like, hey, all right. <laughs> Oh, okay. So these are equipped, equip, wait, persistent symbol, herald bat. This is new. All right. Go ahead and equip by that. Aura of justice. Uh, right. It's got a symbol on the right that just straight up tells me what things do. No, I don't need, just need one more of them. Nick tunic. Color of Wraith. Defensive three. Okay. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to. Oh, god damn it. I have 11 now. Shit. I'd like to sell you 11. Actually, nine of these uh, colors of Wraith. If you want to. Just take those off my hand. Thanks. Did that, uh, I wasn't paying attention to how much money that cost me, but I just fucked myself real good. Why Batman so angry? He's really not. He probably sold at a loss. That was pretty awful. All right, so just gonna throw it out there. You're banned. No. Okay. You know what? There's, we're gonna do it like this, so I don't do that again. See what I did there? Instead of going and changing it, and how much money? I think I ended up. I think I ended up having exactly the same amount. Someone can check the VOD and actually check and see, but I ended up with one by five, five. Save 105 credits. Okay, let's go ahead and save then. So far, I feel like this game hasn't given me enough information to really give a good interpretation of it. And I don't feel like it really is the tiny kind of game that it's going to want to let me have that information. Like, that's not really the purpose of this game. Either that or it is, and it just doesn't bother to, like... I forgot to equip Alpha's new weapon. Well, I'll do that now, then. Yet, I've never been ill. Neat, now you're dead. Pedalo recovery point. Call Pedalo? Sure. What is that? Okay. Meet Ducky time. Ah! Alright, let's go ahead and just uh, write down that 1 4 there. There you go. 1 4. Alright. 2 9. Three, eight. You know, this is going to be a thing. Four, two. I'm in the middle of something. Can you fuck off? Oh, God. What are you? Pre keep track of the colors. It's black on the one side, white on the other. Should probably not auto attack things that I don't know what they do.
Okay, they're actually not that tough. Are the fights in this game meant to be difficult? I like the squishy meat noises. Hey. I don't want to be burnt. Well, too fucking bad. Alright, I already know what these guys do, so I'm just gonna auto attack them. It's a painfully easy game. I feel like it's. So there are some games that are meant to be, like, not difficult in order to allow you to finish them. Like, the objective isn't to beat the game, it's not. For it to be a challenging game they want you to progress the story they want you to understand the storyline so like difficulty and mechanics are not necessary for that if you want to take the exact opposite of that try dark souls where the difficulty of the mechanics trump understanding what the fuck is going on this game is sort of the polar opposite of that where it's like you're not really meant to really be challenged by the combat i think you're trying to understand the lore, you're trying to understand the world, and get the storyline. <laughs> I already called the pedalo. <laughs> I don't want to be a phantom. Well, too bad I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, kid! And then I'm gonna feel real bad about it later, because I did a no mercy run. Run. Puzzles aren't very difficult either. Um, yeah, no, they're not really. What's happening to me? I killed you. That's what's happening. Yeah. All right. All right. One. 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 Okay, let's try the black ones first. Four. Nine. Eight. Two. One. Okay. No. Alright, so we got the the black column, which is four nine. And then that one's still available to be pressed again. Eight. And then two. So does that mean I go four again? All right. Is there other information to be gained? There is, okay. We're not productive enough anymore. There are more numbers, okay. You need to continue to get more numbers. All right, we'll do that then. The game's easy uh, is more to flex what a weird, neat lore story artwork. The game design, uh, I mean, like it's an indie game. It's gonna have some weird, possibly awful game design decisions. For instance, the combat, I hope, leads to something um toby got a decent amount of inspiration off uh from off i can see that especially with your example of napster bluke like the music the aesthetic is very napster bluke all right and then on this side i'm gonna write them as they go up the other way black. So I'm going to write them in reverse order. Five, six. Oh, that's all you have for me. Okay. Papyrus was based after D-Dan. Home is more of an off fan game uh, with nuanced combat. If you enjoyed this game, but uh, I'm not sure if it'll ever... There's a chat. Oh, right. Did I just miss a chest? Okay. Can 
And I, uh... It seems to be higher up than me. Oh, fuck! There's more numbers! Suck my entire cock. Alright. Um... Seven... Nine... Eight... C. Okay. All right, well, at least I found more numbers. Can I go under this? No. Squish, 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 squish. Just imagine this is like ground beef. I actually can probably just do auto attack. I opted not to this time because... I can't say anything bad about home now. I don't want to be a dick. I mean, like, listen. Uh, why, why would you be a dick by saying that something's bad about home? I've never played it. I have no horse in this race. C means zero, right? Yeah, I know. I figured that out earlier. I thought it meant clear, but it still worked, so. All right. All right, so we're doing the black one first for whatever reason. So four, nine, eight, two. Oh, the dev died of home. Okay, I see. Um, no, wait a minute. Oh, I did the wrong one. I'm dumb. That's the problem there, All right? Uh, four, nine, eight, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, se seven. Now, wait a minute. Oh, fuck. God damn it. It's because it's on the other side of the post it note. I'm getting confused because I'm stupid. It's really just a chronic problem with me. All right. Two. All right. Now it's six, which is. The That's five. Fuck. Okay. Six. Five. Nine. And then zero. Alright. Is that it? Do you want me to do anything else with this information? Do I want to do the white side now? One? No. Okay. So we're using the white information later. What did that do? We got the jiggles. Maybe the jiggles are good. Nothing to be achieved over there. Alright. Later, Toilet God. Okay. Alright, let's see if there's... Miscue, thank you for the raid. How you doing? So yeah, to a lot large extent to this point, I'm less interested in the like mechanical stuff of this game and more interested in what's going on lore wise. I feel like that's how you're supposed to enjoy this game. You're supposed to enjoy it for its lore and not it's like just kind of whatever like RPG maker style combat. Hey. Wish you a good day, dear omnipresent companion. Soon you will have been able to admire all of the Scarlet and Ultramarine landscapes of this zone. You seem distraught by the unique architecture of this place. If such is truly the case, you should learn how to concentrate so as to be mistaken no more in your choice of opportunities proposed to you at every corner of this maze. Next time, linger and ponder a little longer before traversing through these trap doors. You young drunkard. All right. All 
Alright, I've done it wrong. Alright. Right is wrong, which means that left is correct. Wait a minute. Left the first time went somewhere new. So it's just whichever one's loud. That's easy. I do like the, like, character design in this game. It's good. It's just the Lost Woods puzzle, yeah. It's literally the Lost Woods puzzle. It just feels like you're achieving nothing because each area is a carbon copy of the last Joker has been found. Did you know the batter is a lesbian? Okay. It doesn't really explain what gender or sex or any of that jazz this thing is. Like, what, what scares a lot of people doesn't scare me. Like... The Joker is you. The batter is simply the batter. I don't think it fucking matters. If the batter is... Wh wh which team the batter is batting for. It doesn't matter. Is there you want to pass through this gate? Yeah, sure. You! By the Queen's Thousand Faces. Are you crazy or just completely idiotic? What part of I am going to kill you wasn't clear to you. I'm here to eliminate you. You're insane. I'm the guardian of zone one and is nothing without me. What mental illness enables this blind faith hiding behind the oblivious from your eyes? I'm the one who's going to purify this world. You are the pest that eats away at this land. Prepare yourself. You will taste the pain, you sick spirit. I'm going to cut your face and remove the insufferable smile. Alright. Attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and figure out what the fuck this is. Sure. Our hands. With low impact, that seems pretty good. I should probably not use my CP unless if I'm gonna try and like heal. Unless if I have more. Oh, there we go. Let's get some poison going. D Dan has good design, yeah. Oh, he's asleep. CP is good for heart attacks. Alright, uh, how about this? The CP doesn't seem to do anything else for, uh... Wait, is my CP tied to both characters? Or is it, like, separate for each guy? No, it's, it's separate. I think I'm doing okay on health. I don't think I'm actually in point- Nice! That is doing considerably more damage. Um, I 
We can start healing rapidly now. Thank you for the 100 bits there, Emily. I can't tell if I've actually poisoned him or not. It does pretty good damage in of its... That's Chinese for laugh. I see. He's laughing at me. Okay. Right, I forgot words can be things too. They're ads. I need to treat words as ads. I like the color palette in this game. The black and white, like, you know, old school graphics with like color. It's nice. Watch your health. I should be okay. I can't tell if I'm making any progress. I am. All right, Alpha's out of uh, stuff now, so basically I just attack until it dies, unless if I need healing. I'm a little bit concerned about that, so he's going to use... Just to keep him alive until the batter wakes up. Oh, okay. Oh, he's furious now. Cool. Oh, does the batter not, like, do I not have control over him anymore? Um. Uh, Alright, cool. Well, actually, no. Can I use... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Fury is rage, so you can't control them during that. Oh shit, everyone's really low on health. I just saw my health. Okay, we should be good. I've never been a huge fan of this style of combat system. Um, it's why I've skipped a lot of RPG Maker games. Because I expect them to have... The oh, he's dead. Okay. But hey, I did fine anyway. I did it. Is this a joke? I lost? I... Thank you for whoever said my health. I lost... Lost? You're defeated, Didan, guardian of the first zone. Your land is now pure. Uh -huh. 
Check out this zone after returning to the world map for surprise. Would you like to save? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. That didn't start well. Uh, don't do it yet. The surprise is really fun. Okay, I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, I just saved, right? Um, I'd like to save real quick. All right, so how about going to zone two? And then immediately saving. Um, that's a good stopping point, I feel like. You already saved. Yeah, but did I? Do you know what anxiety is? When do you think you'll beat Dognarampa? Dognarampa should be getting its next episode day after tomorrow. Which means that, um... Uh... I can stream it on Saturday. Uh, I'm going to be rotating between this, Homestuck, Dognarampa, and... Um, whatchamacallit? Ba -ba 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 -ba, uh, Deadly Premonitions. I was looking at my Switch and I'm like... That game with the sandwich. Um, so. Oh, Saturday. Fuck, I forgot. It's got to be a five-hour thing. Let me check and see what day my wife doesn't have to wake up first thing in the goddamn morning. Um, because I don't really want to do, like, a five-hour stream the day that she has to wake up at, like, five in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, that just seems like an asshole husband thing to do. Like, yeah, she's respectful, like, she's loving, and she gets what I'm doing here, and she's like, go stream. If you want to make this your thing, if you want to do this, you gotta go stream. I'm like, man, but I just, I don't know, like, am I doing the right thing? She's like, go stream. She's super supportive of me, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, let me show you guys the art. Ba ba ba. All right, there we go. All right, so this first art is from uh, the town of nowhere, and it's from GMAX. I'm really loving the art that's coming out of this. I was kind of hoping that that would happen. Um, the scenes are so vague that it's really hard to not like. I, I, I'd like that to be the way it is. Like the scenes are vague enough that it really just needs art in order for it to really work the way it oughta. Um, so, it, Skull Boyfriend, Gerald, Starbucks Fairy, I forgot her name. It's, um, Crystal. Uh, the toll guy who, you guys didn't ask his name. You just sort of, like, cut your hand in front of him. Uh, then you got, um, receptionist at the hotel. What the hell? Vampire session oppression guy. Uh, not a vampire, just running from one, honest. Um, and then we got this one. I feel like I actually, uh, might show this at the start of next stream. Uh, objectives needs to be a screen that I show you guys. Um, but this one's from Jack Nurk. Um, and this is actually really helpful, uh, to understand what's going on in that game in a lot of ways. Uh, objective, uh, name? No. Objectives, investigate town for supposed twin sister, and then also date the 7-Eleven skull monster, which appears to be more of chat's goals. Um... Can't do attitude, smartass, reputation, sex appeal, horticulture, vibe check, letter from, uh, I need to actually come up with an inventory system, like a screen for that, so that way you guys can, like, examine your, um, inventory. Yes, horticulture is spelled wrong here as well, uh, probably as a nod to me spelling it wrong. Um, I used the wrong font. I actually like this font quite a bit. I was using, um, a different one. You guys took a bath. That's part of what bumped your sex appeal quite a bit. Um, uh, letter from and picture from supposed twin sister. Map broken and blood covered glass shard. Hand wound from said glass shard. Uh, all right, but not a great amount of money. I need to probably define that. This is actually really helpful for me personally to try and figure out what you guys need to know that you have. Uh, baggage full of clothing. And undying love and support for the 7-Eleven Skull, dude. Um, 
And then you got this one from Dragon Girlmon, and it's some art from off. It's that weird tutorial gremlin. When do I think I'll be playing this next? Um, like I said, uh, this is going to probably be in rotation with Deadly Premonitions and Dognorampa. Dognorampa uh, will probably transition into either Ghost Trick or 999. Um, ma, there's a weird cat outside. That thing. Um, so, yeah. Um... Ghost trick. I need to um, I need to figure out how to uh hook up my my three D my DS to to, to to this. Oh, next time I'm doing Town of Nowhere. Town of Nowhere. I'd like to give you guys at least a couple of days notice. Um, do you want to send? Uh, no, it's fine. Honestly, like this this actually just gives me a lot of information about what I need to have on my own. Because some of this information, like, is vague. Like, all right, but not great amount of money plus 69 cents is, like, not really helpful, you know? Um, so, you know. Like, that's not helpful to you guys to have that as the amount of money you have. Like, I need to uh, better define that amount. How many days have you set up to be at the hotel, you know? What's Ghost Trick about? Uh, it's a it's a puzzle game, and you're dead. That's about all I know. Um, so um, I think I'll have one longer game, or maybe one or two longer games, and then I'll have one short game running at every time or any given time. And if I do that, then I'll be able to burn through quite a few short games in order to get to the other ones. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, uh, I'll probably start on that after I get done with Ghost Trick. Or, after I get done with Dongarampa, I'll do Ghost Trick. So, um, yeah, Natalie, if you can, um, send me a capture card for my DS. Wink. What about 999? Um, I, one of those two is probably going to be in that slot. Either that or the other one. Same thing with uh, Deadly Premonitions. That's going to be one of the longer game slots, I think. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's either 999 or Ghost Trick uh, for that next one. Maybe Overclock, a DS. Wink! Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for the art, guys. Thank you guys for coming by. That was fun. I feel like it's going to be better the more I learn. Right now, it's just sort of... Um, it's kind of got an Alice in Wonderland vibe. Where it's like... Uh, there are definite clear rules on how this world works. But they are just slightly adjacent to what I understand the world to be. And it's kind of old school feeling. You know? Um... Ghost Trick might be a good change of pace. I do need to go back and do Dongnarampa 3 at some point. There's a lot of games on my plate. I've got, like, a list of games that need to happen. Um, except for no one is Alice. Am I going to be an RPG Maker streamer? I mean, probably not, but maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go off of the recommendations that chat gives me for a while. If people are, like, freaking the fuck out and they're like, have you played Harold's Adventure? It's the best goddamn game ever. And I'm like, I have no idea what that is. Um, then, you know, I can go from there, right? Anyway. There's no game called Harold's Adventure as far as I'm aware. I'm just making shit up, but, you know, my point. Um, All right. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. Um, I'm going to go and run an ad break, and then I'm going to be done. I'm going to raid someone. I'm going to raid someone. If I know someone who's live, I'll raid them. If I don't, um, I will um, raid someone at random. Cool? Uh, anyway, I will see you uh, next time. Burr.
Mike's live, alright? We're hosting Mike then. Bye!